Hey guys, here is a quick tutorial of the basic reaction of glycolysis with some arrow pushing. I tried to make this as accurate and simple as possible, but if there are mistakes, let me know. So ENZB or ENZAH are a base or an acid that is provided by the current enzyme. So here we have glucose. The first enzyme is hexokinase, which is going to add a phosphate to the sixth carbon on the glucose. This makes glucose 6-phosphate. The next enzyme is isomerase, and after a few intermediates, we get fructose 6-phosphate. The next enzyme is phosphofructokinase 1, along with ATP, and this step is a thermodynamic sink, which means it's not very reversible. This goes to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Next we have the enzyme aldolase. And after a step, we go to two products this time glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is what we're after, and another molecule that tautomerizes spontaneously, to, which is called dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The enzyme isomerase takes the dihydroxyacetone phosphate and converts it to another glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So now we have two. Everything after this point is happening twice. Next, the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate interacts with the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, and NAD+. The enzyme has a side chain of cysteine that is bonded to the molecule, and after several steps, we end up with NADH and 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. The enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase and an ADP molecule take off a phosphate group which gives us 3-phosphoglycerate and ATP. Next, the enzyme mutase replaces the phosphate group on the third carbon and puts one onto the 2 carbon, giving us 2-phosphoglycerate. Now the enzyme enolase, which has a stabilizing magnesium ion in it, kicks off a water, leaving us with phosphophenyl pyruvate. Finally, the last enzyme is pyruvate kinase and an ADP molecule. These take off the last phosphate group and leave us with our final product, pyruvate, which can then go on to the citric acid cycle. All right. So from each glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, we have gained 2 ATP, 2 NADH, and a pyruvate. Because there were two of them, we have 4 ATP, 4 NADH, and 2 pyruvate for a net gain in glycolysis. Thanks for watching. I hope that this was clear enough to understand and helps you out in your studies.